Welcome to the Money Answer Show with host Jordan Goodman. Whether you are starting out, deep into your retirement, or somewhere in between, the Money Answer Show has the know-how to help you. Now here's your host, Jordan Goodman. Welcome to the Money Answer Show. This is Jordan Goodman, your host. My guest this hour is Dustin Matthews. Uh, He is the Chief Education Officer and Co-Founder of WealthFit at WealthFit.com. We're going to learn all about it. Welcome to the Money Answer Show, Dustin. Jordan, excited to be here. Thanks for having me on. So just give us a little bit of your background leading into the creation of WealthFit. (laughs) I love it. Absolutely. So I have been very entrepreneurial most of my life, started a a few enterprises. Uh, The most recent one I did for about nine years, working with folks and personalities that speak on stage and webinars and are out there uh, educating the world in different areas. And one day I woke up and I said, this isn't what I want to do anymore. And it's weird because I co-founded this other enterprise and I essentially had to figure out how to get out of that, get paid for doing so, and then reinvent myself. And so in doing all of that process, I figured out that, gosh, I didn't get this big Silicon Valley payday like you see on TV or or in the the movies. And I, I left thinking, you know, I have some relationships, I have some money, but gosh, if I had invested better, if I had done other things along the way in addition to building a business, I'd be a lot further along in my life and have more to show for it in other areas, and I wasn't. And so that's uh, that's how I got behind WealthFit, and now I'm paying it forward and showing other people, other entrepreneurs, other folks around the world how to make sure they diversify and invest in different things. What was the previous business that you were involved in for nine years? Uh, that was educating and training speakers and uh, personalities uh, in all different areas, showing them how to communicate effectively from a stage or webinar or even on podcasts. I see. So what gave you uh, the idea for wealth? There's so much out there in the personal finance education area. What made this unique? Well, what I had found is, you know, there's entrepreneurship education and information, gurus, if you will, trainers, educators, then there are personal finance folks, then there are investing minded folks. And and so I said, man, wouldn't it be great to have a one stop shop where you could go? Because if you think about it, Jordan, for folks that, you know, go a certain path, it somewhat looks like this. Maybe they get a job for somebody, they start making some money, maybe they put themselves in debt because they're trying to keep up with the Joneses. And then what ends up happening is they say, man, I want to create a different way. So then they read, up on money management. They start learning how to manage their money. And then if they get lucky enough, they save some of that money and put it into investments. And they go to somewhere else to learn investing information. And then along the way, they're like, man, I'd love to have some more money to invest. So I'll go start the side business. And so then they go to another person or another place for it. And so I said, man, what if there was a place where we could get it all? Because maybe you don't think you need uh, education in certain areas as an entrepreneur or somebody that is investing in you know stocks or, or bonds. But if you were in an ecosphere, if you call it that, of information swirling around you, then you would be open to these new ideas. And so that's how it came to be. So this is a subscription model. Uh, that's how right. Does it work? How long do people have to subscribe for? How much does it cost? And we're going to get into detail about what they get, but just tell us about the subscription model. Well, I appreciate I appreciate that, Jordan. I mean, you know, I'd love for people to stay forever, and I know like that doesn't happen. Uh, here's the reality: somebody can join for not even a month. Someone can actually uh, invest in one particular course, see if they like it. If they like it, then they can get access to all the other courses in many different areas of wealth building, wealth creation for forty nine dollars a month currently. And so that's what I like to say: is get in, try a course, see if you like it, have a great experience, and then go for more. So what do you see as the future for wealth and how big could it get? Oh, I think it could be really big because, uh, you know, before when I built up businesses, Jordan, and I imagine you subscribe to this in some form or fashion, uh, I was always taught to niche down. So serve, you know, a particular smaller market. And I've done that extremely well. And I think it is the way to go when you're starting off and building a business. Because if you're all things to all people out of the gate, it can be very tricky. With that said, we are subscribing to that advice and we are expanding beyond where we started in real estate and we are expanding into all these other different areas of creating wealth. And so I'm excited because a lot of folks need help with money management. A lot of folks want to put their money to work for them uh, in investing. And then I know there's a big section of the marketplace, the gig economy, that wants to start a business, but maybe they don't want to dive all in. And so we are that conduit to show them you know, what's possible in each of those areas. Is the target audience mostly millennials or is it broader than that? 
I, it's broader than that. Uh, we have three folks, Jordan. It's what we call money-minded go-getters. And those are folks that want to manage money better, uh, personal finance, budgeting, savings. Then we have folks that are investors, whether it's real estate, stocks and bonds, oil and gas, gold and silver, and on and on. And then finally, we have an entrepreneurial audience. Uh, these are folks that want to either start a business or grow their existing business. So those are the three audiences we serve. And the demographics, because I think that's what you're getting at, the demographics show us to be 40 plus. Um, you know, these are professional people that are looking for other opportunities that are looking to manage your money uh, better. And so that's what it, it skews. Our sight and our look says that we're, we're millennial uh, and we're, we're happy to, to take them as well because anyone can benefit from this education. But, but our, uh, our metrics show us that uh, we're you know, uh, attracting many folks that are professionally minded 40 plus. How does the average person interact with you? Are they going to many different courses or just focusing on one? What, what is the typical experience? Yeah, th- this is a good question. You know, I, I would love if people just came and subscribed, but it, it generally doesn't happen that way. First, they experience us, Jordan, on wellfit.com. We, we put out a lot of articles, and, and this isn't just articles to try to get us in SEO on the first page of Google, which is, you know, a, a, a marketing strategy. It is a viable one. We actually put out 2,000 plus Word articles that we actually will go back and revisit, meaning that we're putting out tactical information out there. And, you know, as strategy, change as the landscape changes we go back and we update these articles and so oftentimes people see an article a friend shares an article they they see us on another website or another way that most people come to us is through a podcast so we have a podcast called the get wealth fit show and somebody will hear us interviewing an expert on that show or talking about something on on wealthfit.com and then they start to get to know about us eventually to, uh, to put a cap in this. Eventually, they do find out about a course in particular. They find out about a subscription and they will subscribe. Often, many people just buying a one-off course and then saying, oh, wow, I like that. I wonder what else is here. And then they subscribe. So, have there been some success stories so far, people who've taken a course and actually put into action that you're aware of? Yeah, absolutely. Now, I will tell you this. WealthFit serves as the I say on ramp, Jordan. You know, if you think about it, if you consume a course online versus go to a seminar versus hire a coach and work one on one, those are all different experiences. And so for for WealthFit, we understand where we are in the marketplace. We give a lot of people awareness. And oftentimes the person that really wants to go deep, the person that is invested in their success will often go that next step. So what WealthFit does is gives folks a good, strong, solid foundation, and then it introduces them into partners and trainers that are on the platform that have more substantial things. And so in that way, we are successful in passing folks that are like, I came in with no knowledge. I now know a baseline, but I still need help. And so now I'm going to go, you know, book a a consultation or I'm going to go to this person's seminar or I'm going to go watch more a webinar. And so from that, we, we see success. The success that a lot of people ask us is, are people watching a course and becoming millionaires? That that's a big that's a big jump. We never make you know any sort of claim that way. But what we do is provide people that baseline education to get them now going down the, further in the path. So you're saying that people can watch a course by some expert in some area, and then mm-hmm. they can be mentored by them directly. It looks like you charge a particular amount per minute or something. Is that the way the mentorship works? That's right. And it's actually not its not what we charge. So here, here's an example. Matt Wallace, who's one of our trainers at WellFit, he's a gold uh, and precious metals expert. He has a course on WellFit, how, how you can flip gold and silver versus sitting on it, you know, and waiting for the markets to go up and down. Uh, you can flip gold and silver, and uh, he has a course on it. So he teaches people how to do that in a two-hour course. Well, naturally, people are going to have some questions. People are going to say, hey, you know, should I should I look at this type of thing? Is this the right way to go? And so we asked Matt, hey, Matt, we've got, you know, mentoring, we call it. it how would you like to mentor some of the people that watch your course? He's like, great. Well, how much do you charge? And so he tells us that price. We list it on the website and we simply offer that to the folks that are subscribers that are watching his course. And so every trainer has a different price that they charge for basically mentoring. And that's what we uh, put on the website. Very good. We're going to take another break. This is Jordan Goodman of The Money Answer Show. My guest this hour is Dustin Matthews. He is the co-founder and chief education officer at WealthFit.com, which is kind of like the Netflix of personal finance. You can get courses on all kinds of different topics, including mentoring. 
Uh, you can find out more at his website, wealthfit.com. We'll be back after this. Stocks, bonds, investment opportunities, financial news, and talk. We can help. Call us now toll free, 866 472 5790. 866 472 5790. Voice America Business Network. Do you or someone you love have a life insurance policy that's no longer needed or not affordable? Did you know that you can sell your policy for cash? Your reason for buying life insurance has probably changed. Thousands of Americans turn to life insurance settlements to help sell their policies. They act as your representative, getting the highest market offer for you. You've got nothing to lose by simply inquiring. If you're over 64 with $100,000 or more of life insurance, you may already qualify. Call 877-485-6681 to get your free non-binding appraisal or visit FundingLife.com. Life Insurance Settlements. Discover the true value of your life insurance. 877-485-6681. Jordan Goodman is an affiliate. He recognizes quality solutions, forming relationships to help improve the lives of his listeners. Tune in to the Voice America Variety Channel on the Voice America Talk Radio Network. Voice America Variety broadcasts a diverse array of topics, reaching a global community. Our experts come from all walks of life, and the topics they discuss are everything from current events, arts and entertainment, leadership, parenting, relationships, self-improvement, career advice, and a variety of other topics. Check us out today. You're sure to find something of interest. Voice America Variety. Talk on today's hot topics. You've been listening to The Money Answer Show with Jordan Goodman. If you have a question for Jordan or his guest, please call us now at 866-472-5790. That's 866-472-5790. Now back to Jordan. Welcome back to The Money Answer Show. This is Jordan Goodman, your host. My guest this hour is Dustin Matthews. He is the Chief Education Officer and Co-Founder of WealthFit.com, which is kind of like a Netflix of personal finance education. Welcome back to the show, Dustin. All right. Hey, hey. Number one, it, my personal network, quite frankly, uh, the, as I mentioned before, I had the opportunity to work with a lot of different experts in many different areas. So so one, relationships. And uh, it's it's advice I give to many business owners and entrepreneurs that, that are starting out is go to where you have relationships uh, that you can either recruit or create business. And so that's, that's what I did. Number two is you should see my office. I'm subscribed to Entrepreneur, Inc., uh, Wall Street Journal, all these things come into my office and I'm constantly looking for two things. One is everyday experts, meaning that you know about them. Like they put themselves out there, they're on podcasts, they speak at conferences, they put out books. And so I am looking for that. But then the second thing that we're also looking for is the person that you don't know, like like a Matt Wallace, as I mentioned before, that he, here's a guy that's successful in his business that is quietly going along. We either know him or get introduced to a trainer uh, and we vet him. We, we look at his business. We look at his ability to teach, his or her ability to teach. And we ask them, is there an interest to you know pay it forward, uh, leave a legacy in terms of providing information so that other people can follow in your footsteps? And we go, go that route. Out. And so it, it's through, you know, turning the radar on, going to seminars, meeting people, learning about people uh, that are out in the marketplace saying, hey, I'm an expert, but also being on the hunt for that other person as well that you might not know about, because I think those are the exciting finds. You kind of compare yourself to Netflix in a certain way. You subscribe and you have unlimited uh, access to all these different things. Is that the, the business model you're basically pursuing here? Well, I like when you say it that way, Jordan. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we like we like to say we're the Netflix of wealth education. And what's meant by that is we are an online platform where you would go and, and get entertainment. You go and get courses on how to either build wealth, create wealth, preserve wealth, anything related to uh, the money world. We're looking to cover it and put it into our library at WealthFit to offer it to the world. So you have four categories we're going to get into in some detail here. The four categories are money, investing, lifestyle, and entrepreneurship. Why did you pick those particular categories for your courses? 
Well, it uh, conveniently spells mild, and uh, like our name, wealth fit, it, it sort of became, oh, well, we'll, we'll choose fitness-like words, and so, uh, you know, you're, we call it running the mile, and so the, the reason why, other than it being, you know, cute and catchy, is that we believe there's four areas of, of life that people need to master when it comes to, to wealth creation, and that's money. You know, most people were never taught in school how to manage money, uh, do a checkbook, um, and they just didn't grow up with this information. Some parents were, or some children were very lucky to have parents that were money-minded and passed along some things, but that's that's one area is money management. So that's why money. Then two, we determined that once you understand how to have money and there's a surplus of money, then you should put that money to work for you and invest it. And so if you look at many of the successful people, they make success in a business. They understand how to do cash flow. They spin off some of that money and put it into other investments investments or into other businesses. And so we decided in, uh, investing was mission critical. And then uh, the third thing I sort of tripped over, which was entrepreneurship. Many people, uh, you know, if you look at the Forbes, you know, 500 list, you look at the world's uh, most wealthiest people, they have either started a business, invested in businesses, uh, lent money to businesses. And so entrepreneurship is being one, one of those categories. And then the last one remaining is the L. L, which is lifestyle. Now, lifestyle to us is our catch-all, meaning, you know, it's great to have all the money in the world, but, you know, money just doesn't come. You need to work on yourself, meaning that you've got to make yourself better, meaning you start a business, right? You have a certain set of skills, but if you want to grow that business, you need new skills. And so whether that's leadership, time management, personal growth. And so we've determined those four categories are really the path for creating wealth in all areas of your life. Great. Well, we're going to get into some detail now. The first one is money. So I'd like to get a sense of what kind of things people can find in these particular courses. The first one you have is what you call freeing your 401k. What, what kind of things can people get from that one? Well, this is a hot a hotbed of controversy. We have a, a, a couple uh, opinions and a couple of uh, educational resources to provide. And, and, and Jordan, I want to take a step back and say this. You know, here at WealthFit, sometimes we uh, have disagreements in terms of what we believe the best path for folks is. And so it's a healthy debate. It's a good one. And, you know, some people are of the 401k conversation. And uh, I would say most of, uh, of the people here and some of the trainers that we have are are against it for a particular style of person. So let me, let me break this down. The 401k conversation, as you as you brought up, is one where you know if you're working at a company and and they're going to match, why not take the free money? However, if you are solely relying on a 401k, thinking that you're just going to plug money away and then at you know some age you're going to retire and be set for life, this is not. Uh, something that you should should count on. And, he, and you can see some of the articles and some of the courses that we put on there. We say you can be more proactive with it. You can put your money to work for you in other areas. And then when it comes time to retire, if you decide you're able to move some of this money out tax-free using different vehicles. And so that's just one example of articles, podcasts, and courses that we have at WealthFit that get into that conversation. Because many people, that is all they're doing. They're putting money in their 401k. Yep. They're not really doing investing outside that. They're stuck with the, whatever mutual funds are being offered. And you're saying they're getting to retirement and not really having enough. That's right, because they're, they're getting taxed heavily uh, when, when, when withdrawing. And so w I'll tell you this, Jordan. I, I, everyone should know this. Dustin Matthews here on this interview is not the expert. Dustin goes, and gets the, <laughs> Dustin goes and gets the expert along with the team here. But I'll tell you, I was blown away when we recruited uh, this particular trainer. His name is Andy Tanner. He wrote a book called 401 Chaos. He talks about uh, this in, in one of the courses. I was blown away. He told me the history of how the 401 came to be originally when the United States was founded and we had big companies providing pension plans to people that all changed in the 70s when the 401k act and, and Jordan I know you could you can speak to to this yeah. the provision in there changed it and and if you really think about who's benefiting from that it, it's not necessarily the person that's putting money into their 401k it's the company that no longer has to support a person like they used to in the past and so if you don't have that education or at least awareness of why something changed and why we're blindly putting money into something, you should and form your own opinions. 
Yeah, they've shifted the burden uh, from pension where you don't have to figure out where it's invested to a 401k where you have to figure it out if you pick some bad choices, it's your tough luck. It, it, you're not being supported by a pension as it ha happened in the past. It's a very big change in responsibility, I guess you might say. Yeah, absolutely. The, the next topic you have is what you call Wealth Building 101. What are some things they can learn in that one? Well, I, I've sort of kind of spilled the beans here, but I, I, it is important that you ask questions in a certain one. When you say Wealth Building 101, this is foundational. And, you know, we realize everyone coming to WealthFit is coming from a different walk of life. Maybe some people have been in business. Maybe people have been investing 15 years. But we also realize that some people are just getting started. They never had these conversations before. Jordan, you know more than anyone running a show called, called Money Answers, growing up or even, you know, folks that aren't part of, of this world and subscribing to education and, and furthering themselves, talking about money is taboo or has been for many, many years. And so we have what we call Money 101, which is simply how to understand what the right way to create wealth is. And, and part of the conversation is money management, managing your own money, looking at cash flow, understanding where the expenses go, but then also understanding how money flows in this world. So, you know, ultimately, if you have a job, yes, you can make money. Yes, some people do get rich, but if you want to create wealth, if you want to have freedom, you ha really have to dial in and look into this model. So we call Wealth Building 101 the eye-opening course that shows people how to, to manage their money, set up a vision for their future, and also introduces what we call Wealth Accelerator accounts here, which is uh, a form of life insurance. So to explain that a little bit. What is a Wealth Accelerator account and how does that relate to wealth life insurance? Well, life, it really is life insurance. It's just what we, we call it. We, we find this, Jordan, sometimes when you say life insurance to folks that are just getting started, they're like, oh, you know, yeah, I've got that. Or why would I want to get that? Why would I want to invest in something that pays me or my family when I die? And what most people don't realize is there are many different types of life insurance. And so to prevent people from uh, rolling their eyes or saying, oh, you know, I'll, I'll watch this course later, we found if we can make it exciting, if we can get people excited about it, uh, it's powerful. And one of the ways that we've done that is we call it a wealth accelerator and we, we account. And what we do is we break down what it is. The fundamental vehicle behind it is life insurance and how you can use life insurance to take money out of pol certain policies and invest it out and put that money to work for you and do it tax free and tax deferred. Right. Then you have a, a course called Smart Budgeting. Uh, what's unique about that one? Well, I, you know, I'm glad you asked this. And this has been like no conversation I've ever had about WealthFit. This, this, because this allows me get to brag on, on the folks that have created courses with us. So this is, comes from Scott and Bethany Palmer. They're known as the money couple. And really what this is, uh, uh, what this is about, this isn't budgeting like, hey, don't go buy that Starbucks latte. This is really understanding what your finances look like. This is understanding how money moves in out of your life and how to make smarter decisions. This isn't about starving. This isn't about going without something. This is about looking at it, bringing awareness and figuring out what are some creative ways? What are some things that you can live without? Do you need 13 subscriptions to online TV? No, you could probably move some of that and, and save some money and now invest that money in other places. I'm hearing a lot about this these days from the FIRE movement. We've done a lot of stories about that, the mm -hmm. financial independent retire early movement. Is that something that you are a big believer in? We, I, I'll say we, we like this movement. Um, we, we like to work though. Uh, and, and Jordan, maybe you can tell me if you've heard other things and maybe it's my, my mischaracterization, but the fire movement, the way that it, the way that I've seen it, the way that I've read it and the sense that I get from it, Jordan, is that you, you sacrifice earlier in your life, you cut out unnecessary things, which we like, but we, we're not big on like you know, like hurting and sacrificing and not indulging in some of the things in life. And then at some point, you don't have to work or contribute in the world. Now, this is a gross characterization of it. I do realize that some people want to get out of the rat race so they can go do the thing that they love. But oftentimes when I hear the fire movement, it's often to escape this life that most people have and sort of, you know, live the good life and retire on the beach. Is that your understanding of it? It is. It's sacrificing for a long time, really kind of getting yeah. your spending down dramatically, uh, investing and building capital that you could then live off of so yep. you don't need to have a job you don't like. That's basically the idea of the fire movement, I think, right? 
Yeah, and I, I like that, and we like to work here. And, and it's not to say, like, you need to work 14 hours a day, like you see on social media and everyone's saying hustle slash ta- or, you know, hashtag hustle, and, you know, I'm up at, you know, 2 a.m. in the morning still working. But it, it, it's really, we believe in paying it forward, and so one of our big things is sharing the wealth around here at WealthFit. And so, yes, if you do want to retire, we're all for that, but we believe that you should be paying it forward, maybe have businesses, have some passion projects that you understand how to grow, how to fund, and how to get out to the world versus just checking out. Then you have a course on getting out of debt. Is that credit card debt mostly or all kinds of debt? What's in that course? That really is a course about getting out of bad debt. And so there's a difference, as you know, Jordan, but for those getting to know this for the first time, there's good good debt and bad debt. And so bad debt is, you know, credit card debt where you're just buying a boat, you're buying things that aren't going to add value, things that can't be leveraged in in juxtaposition of that, excuse me there, uh, in exchange for that, or the other side, I should say, it would be good debt. And so that's like taking a, a mortgage out. That's like getting a loan from somebody to flip a real estate property or to start a business. That is good debt when used properly because you're looking to grow something much bigger than the debt. You're not just buying something and it's sitting in the garage. Very good. We're going to take another break. This is Jordan Goodman of The Money Answer Show. My guest this hour is Dustin Matthews. He is the co-founder and chief education officer at WealthFit.com, which is kind of like the Netflix of personal finance. You can get courses on all kinds of different topics, including mentoring. Uh, You can find out more at his website, WealthFit.com. We'll be back after this. Stocks, bonds, investment opportunities, financial news, and talk. We can help. Call us now toll-free, 866-472-5790, 866-472-5790, Voice America Business Network. Do you or someone you love have a life insurance policy that's no longer needed or not affordable? Did you know that you can sell your policy for cash? Your reason for buying life insurance has probably changed. Thousands of Americans turn to life insurance settlements to help sell their policies. They act as your representative, getting the highest market offer for you. You've got nothing to lose by simply inquiring. If you're over 64 with $100,000 or more of life insurance, you may already qualify. Call 877-485-6681 to get your free non-binding appraisal or visit FundingLife.com. Life Insurance Settlements. Discover the true value of your life insurance. 877-485-6681. Jordan Goodman is an affiliate. He recognizes quality solutions, forming relationships to help improve the lives of his listeners. Tune in to the Voice America Variety Channel on the Voice America Talk Radio Network. Voice America Variety broadcasts a diverse array of topics, reaching a global community. Our experts come from all walks of life, and the topics they discuss are everything from current events, arts and entertainment, leadership, parenting, relationships, self-improvement, career advice, and a variety of other topics. Check us out today. You're sure to find something of interest. Voice America Variety. Talk on today's hot topics. You've been listening to The Money Answer Show with Jordan Goodman. If you have a question for Jordan or his guest, please call us now at 866-472-5790. That's 866-472-5790. Now back to Jordan. Welcome back to The Money Answer Show. This is Jordan Goodman, your host. My guest this hour is Dustin Matthews. He is the chief education officer and co-founder of WealthFit.com, which is kind of like a Netflix of personal finance education. Welcome back to the show, Dustin. All right. Hey, hey. So you have a course called Financial Adulting or Adulting. What, That's what right. Is that about? How to become a financial adult. Is that the idea? Well, yeah, yeah, absolutely. So to give you like insight into how this how this went was I got introduced to these uh, amazing individuals, the Longs. And so Ellen and Micah Long. And so they had a course outside of WellFit showing folks how to exit 
college debt free. And I said, wow, that, that's interesting. We had been kicking around the idea for programming or education, it would be a better way to say it, uh, around uh, for, for teens called Well Fit Teen. And so I said, hmm, this, this would be fascinating. And so we went to them and, and said, hey, listen, we've got Well Fit. We explained everything that we, you know, we've explained essentially in, in this interview on, on this show. And they're like, yeah, that's something we, we can get behind. And so we called it financial adulting. And really, this one is targeted for the millennials, for the younger generation where, you know, I I wish I had a course like this growing up. And so this is, you know, taught by younger individuals. These are folks that can, you know, I I say communicate with with teenagers all the way really up to to anybody, but they have a a unique way of presenting the information. And so this is really, this is really a crash course for folks that are just getting started in the working world, how to leverage debt uh, investing in all these different things that really we talk about on, on wealthfit.com. So this is a foundational course for what I would say the younger generation. Then you've got one on paying less taxes. I mean, there's the tax laws have changed and it's harder for people, most people getting the standard deduction today. How can you show people how to pay less in taxes? Well, to be to be uh, clear with you, it's not me, and I do want to make that I, I am not uh, the expert here. But uh, Tom Wheelwright is, and so Tom is a uh, a rich dad advisor. This is a guy that that goes around and speaks quite considerably and has a practice showing people how to do it. Now, taxes do always change, and that was a, an opportunity for us to figure out. Well, how do we put something that's somewhat timeless, right? And meaning, like you know, if we give specific mentions in the code, those are likely to change. And so, how can we show people? what are the methodologies, what are the high level concepts to show you, listen, if you work for somebody, you're going to pay a tax ultimately and, and, and you pay the highest tax. However, if you start a business and leverage the tax code, you are now able to pay less taxes through this vehicle. And so really this course isn't, hey, look at this deduction and look at this deduction over here. Uh, although we do point out a few of them, this is more about the strategy of how can you move yourself, essentially, this is a rich dad, uh, what do I want to say, methodology or, or philosophy. How do you move yourself from one quadrant into another so that you can reduce your taxes? And then you've got a whole series of lifestyle courses, which are kind of more related to a mindset than actual practical things. So, for example, you've got developing a warrior mindset. What would be involved in that course? Well, this is really uh, about how to take what life gives you, you know, whether you you place an investment out there and and the market turns on you. you know, that, that's not a fun experience and that can ruin your day. Um, some people have the gift of car- compartmentalizing and, and just letting that go. That often comes with experience. But but for those that are get, getting started, you know, if they place an investment like that or start a business that, that goes south, uh, that can really mess with your mind and that can really make you less productive uh, in society. And there's no, no fault of that. So what are some things that you can do to roll with the punches? What are some things that you can do to say, hey, I'm going to keep moving forward. I'm going to continue down this path because life Life is really all about the obstacle. It's about the thing that you're presented with and how, how you overcome it. So developing a warrior mindset it is really how to upgrade your mind, how to consume information, how to make sure that you have a positive outlook on life so that you're able to spot opportunity, so that you're able to rebound from those crazy situations that, that life often brings us. And then more on the positive side, you've got a course called Ignite Your Genius. So what would that be about? Uh, this is from, as I mentioned earlier, this is from Howard Berg. And so Igniting Your Genius, is, it's a very similar course. Uh, this is a, This comes from Howard Berg, and he is... Uh, somebody that I think people connect with or don't connect with. And, and oftentimes in our in our library, we have courses that it, I want to say overlap in philosophy. But uh, Jordan, I don't know about you. Growing up, I've had certain teachers that really can I connected with and I learned a lot from them. Others I did not. And so this is one of those scenarios where they do overlap and each brings their own way of delivering the information. But igniting your genius it, it is really tapping into your mindset and figuring out what it is that you're the best in the world at, and then how do you overcome when you go out and and bring that into creation, into the world, how do you avoid mental blocks so that you can go out there and make more things happen? And then related to that, you've got a a course called Networking Like a Pro. Uh, What can people learn about networking that'll help them in their business? 
Well, this is this is a good thing. This this is one thing that I I've really built a lot of my success in business around is is the power of networking. So this actually is one of our wealth fit teen courses, and this introduces the idea that listen, there are opportunities, there are places that people get together, and the way to go to these things is not come with seventeen business cards and throw them out like a, a blackjack dealer, but instead to come with a service mindset and really show up in the right places and how to ask the right questions. And really, it, it shows uh, teens how to present themselves in a, a, a great way, an elevator pitch, so that they can effectively start meeting the people they need to meet in order to go wherever they want to go. Yeah, so that's a, fa- a sample of what's in the lifestyle category. Then probably your biggest category is investing. And mm-hmm. within that, you've got quite a few in the real estate area. So, for example, you've got something on analyzing a real estate deal. What would be involved in that one? Well, in this course, uh, we, for most people that don't know this, we actually got started in the real estate category only. So as I was mentioning earlier in the show, niche niching is often the best way to start a business, to go after or to create something for a specific market. And so we started in the real estate category. And so, as you mentioned, there are a lot of courses in there. And now we are branching out into so many different categories out there. And so in analyzing the deal, it's really how do you take a look at a property? How do you take a look at a real estate deal and determine, is this a good deal? One of the great things about this course and so many others that I, I just failed to, to mention earlier is that they come with, with handouts and resources. So in particular, this one comes out with a deal analyzer and it shows you, how do you use this? How do you plug in uh, the it, it, it numbers to determine if this is a good deal? How do you read essentially this tool, this resource that we have in here to execute on a deal? And then you've got another one on real estate wholesaling 101. Just basically describe people what wholesaling is and how the average person can do something like that without actually putting up their own money. Yeah, that, that's exactly right. So wholesaling essentially is being a middleman, if you want. And and what that means is going out and finding a property. And a lot of people are, are blown away. Oftentimes, this can happen up through marketing, of course, but you know, just talking to people. So maybe it's somebody in your family, maybe it's somebody in your neighborhood. And so wholesaling is the ability to go talk to somebody that needs to sell their house or wants to sell their house, putting an option or putting an agreement together, putting money down on it to control that interest, and then flipping it to somebody that might be more experienced or somebody that wants to rehab it and you just don't want to be in that deal. You just want to get in there and get out. And so essentially you're getting paid a smaller amount on a contract that you would flip or wholesale to somebody else that might make more money, but has to put more money into the property. So do you think it's a good idea somebody watches that particular course that they can literally go out and do it? Or do you think they should say, I'm interested in this, I should go into more depth and probably get mentoring before they actually go out and try it? Well, I think there's an intermediary step, Jordan, and it's something that we've determined at WellFit that we are excited to to implement. We haven't done it yet, and so I want to let people know what's coming. We have these courses, and this is a cha- this is a challenge. This is an opportunity as we see it. Someone sees this course, they're excited, they want to go go flip a deal. What we say is you actually need to to go and get a curriculum. You need to see more courses because. Just watching one course can make you dangerous, right? And what I mean by that is you get excited, but you really need to see more sides of the picture. And so one of the things that we're working on in this upcoming year is what we call learning paths or curriculum. Just like when you go to college, you don't just take one class, right? You don't just go major in the thing. You've got to take fundamentals. And so we are working to put that together, learning paths, so that you understand when you go and watch a wholesaling course, you're going to need to understand contracts, what needs to now go into a contract. You also are going to need to know how do you have a list of people that you can flip it to. If you only have one, that's dangerous because if they say no, now you're left on the hook with with this pop property potentially. And so we believe that you should get a holistic education. Second would be to go and get mentoring. And so if you have a question, if you're unclear about the course, to go do mentoring, uh, that's available now on the site. So part of what you offer is not only these courses, but there's a community as well. So tell people about the WealthFit community and how that can support you in whatever area you want to go. 
Yeah, absolutely. I'll tell you, you know, our biggest community right now is is the real estate community. We're excited for the stock community, the entrepreneurship community, the personal finance community, uh, which we call money, as you mentioned earlier, to grow. And inside the real estate community, it's pretty exciting because we have trainers um, that are that have created courses for us that are engaging, that are uh, adding value, uh, answering questions in there. And I like that. Uh, the other thing that I think gets me more excited is when someone posts, hey, I'm working on a deal and like it becomes more real. Like I saw this house, what should I do? I'm nervous. Do I go knock on the door? Do I send a direct mail letter? What should I do? And, and getting responses from the community, getting responses from a coach is powerful. And then ultimately when someone does do a, a real estate deal, they will post and share their wins in there. And I feel like that's very powerful because when, when you see success, it, it motivates you in a way. And it's like, man, you know, if this person can do it, it from this, you know, state or this little city, you know, why why can't I do it? And so in, in a way it's motivational in nature. And so the community aspect offers a lot of things, clarity, uh, motivation, and, and just feedback that you're you are in the right environment. You do have people behind you that want to see you succeed, which you might not experience at home or in another uh, setting. And you're not alone. You, there is a community to ask questions and to do deals with. So that's a real value it, is, it seems as well. Absolutely. We're going to take another break. Uh, This is Jordan Goodman of The Money Answer Show. My guest this hour is Dustin Matthews. Uh, He is the uh, co-founder and chief education officer at WealthFit.com, which is kind of like a Netflix for personal uh, finance education. You can find out more at WealthFit.com. We'll be back after this. From the boardroom to you, Voice America Business Network. Are you a homeowner tired of making monthly mortgage payments with little progress towards paying down your principal? Does paying off your home in five to seven years without making larger or more frequent payments sound appealing? Paying off your home in full in five to seven years is really possible thanks to Truth and Equity's Mortgage Equity Optimization System, a money management approach that puts your money to work for you 24-7. If you own a home with some equity, have a decent credit score and verifiable income, you owe it to yourself to learn more about Truth and Equity's program. There's no need to replace your mortgage or refinance in many cases. The system works for new home purchases as well as current mortgages. Your home is your largest investment. Own it outright in five to seven years. Call Truth and Equity, 888-262-5540 or visit truthandequity.com, 888-262-5540. Jordan Goodman is an affiliate. He recognizes quality solutions, forming relationships to help improve the lives of his listeners. You've been listening to The Money Answer Show with Jordan Goodman. If you have a question for Jordan or his guest, please call us now at 866-472-5790. That's 866-472-5790. Now back to Jordan. Welcome back to The Money Answer Show. This is Jordan Goodman, your host. My guest this hour is Dustin Matthews. He is the co-founder and chief education officer at WealthFit.com, which is kind of like the Netflix of personal finance education. And you can find out more at his website, wealthfit.com. Welcome back to the show, Dustin. Jordan, I love how that rolls off your tongue. (laughs) (laughs) So we've talked about money. We've talked about lifestyle, entrepreneurship. Investing is clearly another big area you have. So one of your courses is called Virtual Investing. What do you find out in that one? Well, virtual investing is very similar to wholesaling. And a a lot of people, I think when I first got started in real estate, you know, uh, I wanted to touch it, right? You know, it's like I wanted to do deals in my backyard that made me feel most comfortable. And many people are are that way. And so virtual investing talks about the idea that you can find properties and it doesn't have to be in in your backyard. It can be in, you know, a whole nother state. It can be halfway across the country. And so virtual investing is this idea that, you know, you can wholesale, you can get into property and you don't have to have, you know, a brick and mortar location. You don't have to buy in your own backyard you can do it essentially virtually (laughs) fantastic yeah um and then you have a lot related to kind of marketing as well like joint venture marketing uh creating an amazon business what are some of those courses about 
Uh, well, when it comes to uh, when it comes to the investing category in terms of uh, marketing, you know, the biggest the biggest challenge, or this I'd say the second, the biggest objection people have is, you know, I do real estate. However, I don't have the money, and so there are courses around how to get money to start a business or to start investing in real estate. The second biggest objection that people have is, how do I find a deal? How do I f- locate a property? And so when it comes to to real estate, and so there's a lot of courses around uh, marketing in the real estate section because that is the name of the game is how do you go out and find these deals and so there's no shortage of ways you can do old-fashioned direct mail you can do Facebook you can use Craigslist and so we show the many different strategies there are for locating uh, property Uh, another one you have which is very popular these days is starting your own Airbnb business Mm. now most people think it's pretty easy. Just open your place up, you advertise, and then things come in. What's so complicated about <laughs> learning about starting an Airbnb business? Well, you're 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 absolutely right about that. Uh, that it can be as easy as that. And uh, I would say, you know, you just need to be aware of the laws that are, you know, in your community, in your city, uh, in, in your area. But besides that. One of the things that that course does in particular that that blew me away, I had no idea, and I have an Airbnb property myself uh, that we that we rent out. And it was this idea of optioning a property that you don't own essentially um, and making it available as an Airbnb. And so you might say, well, why would someone want to do that? Well, you know, if a landlord or the owner of a property is just having it sit and they're able to not rent it out, then they might be interested in doing it. And maybe they just don't understand Airbnb. Maybe they don't want to deal with, you know, 13 people in a year coming through the property or even more. And so this course is really about making partnership with that landlord, letting them know, I want to be real clear here, this course is about letting uh, landlords and people that own the property know Uh, what your intention is and that you're going to be on the hook for it. And then now you can start to market and manage the property and make it an Airbnb. And if you don't want to do that, you also can now work with companies, property management companies that specialize in it. And so you're able now essentially to get into the Airbnb game without actually owning the property. Interesting, indeed. Uh, Another hot area these days is so-called crowdfunding. And you've got a course on crowdfunding with Kickstarter. Now, this is if you have a project you want to get funded, or is this is somebody who wants to invest in things? How does that work? This is for a project. So if you have an idea, you have an invention, you have, uh, you know, any sort of business that you want to launch, this is a glimpse into that world. And I, I say that it is a glimpse because, again, as I mentioned earlier, Jordan, sometimes we find experts here that, you know, are crowdfunding experts or they're tax experts or, you know, real estate experts, meaning they have a book or they're on TV or on the radio or on, on stages. But this one in particular comes from somebody that you might not know about yet. And so this was somebody that we worked with here that was an analytics person for most of his career, but he had a dream to launch a movie. His movie movie was called Shine and it was a 10 year journey. Part of that journey while working his his job doing metrics and, and data was using crowdfunding, Kickstarter in particular, to launch his movie. And so what was critical was that first round of funding. He chose to use that site. He generated over $100,000 in funding, often from friends and family and people, you know, maybe one circle removed from him. And that got enough uh what do you say, momentum that led him into future rounds of funding. And so that really is a profile of how he did it, how he funded his movie, and how he leveraged the platform to go do it. Very interesting. And then you got in the mindset area, uh, another one I thought quite interesting, which is neuro-linguistic negotiation. How how do you win through uh, language? Explain how that one works. Yeah, you, you hit the nail on the head, you know, communication is mission critical. And so you can haphazardly go into a negotiation or go into a a business setting or, you know, a conversation with your spouse or or your family and, you know, have good intentions and know what you want and just say things or you can understand, you know, what motivates people? How do you effectively communicate so people actually hear you? And so this is what this course is about, is what are effective ways of, of communi- uh, communication? I'll tell you the biggest misnomer around this is a lot of people think this is about programming people or, or some form of, uh, of hypnosis, and it's not. It's just what 
patterns of communication, what words that we use are most effective. Meaning like if I come at you and yell at you, you're likely to kind of go inward. However, if I question things and I elicit something from you, you're likely to be more open to that conversation along the way. And so that's an example. This course is really an example of how to communicate more effectively. Um, then you've got something on the precious metals business. Now, this particularly is starting your own precious metals business. Is that buying and selling gold and silver or what does that actually mean? Yeah, that's right. That that comes from Matt Wallace. And I'll, I'll tell you, that that was fun. Uh, he came down here to our studio in San Diego and he brought a bunch of gold with them and, and silver. And, uh, you know, Jordan, when I thought of, you know, gold and silver, I thought, oh, OK, this is something I buy and I diversify and I just kind of sit on it. Maybe the end of the world comes and I got gold, you know, like it, it was kind of that conversation in my head. And what he told me is that just like in many businesses and uh, investments out there, you know, people get motivated at certain points in life. And, and a real classic example, you know, if someone gets divorced, you know, their wedding ring, the diamond, the gold in there, you know, doesn't have a, a lot of value, right? The emotional uh, value is, is, is really gone. And so some people are ready to move on. And so, you know, other people, you know, un- as unfortunate it is, but it's something that all happens to all of us, you know, pass away. And so they're left with grandma, grandpa's jewels. And so, you know, some people just, want to move on. They want to get rid of all the junk and yeah, they want to get top dollar for it, but oftentimes people just want to move on. And so this course, Jordan, I'll I'll sum it up this way. This course is really about finding uh, motivated folks that would like to sell their jewelry, sell their gold, sell their silver and figure out a way to melt it down and then turning that back over and flipping it. So this isn't about buying and sitting. This is about going out there to estate sales and finding opportunities and then flipping it so that you can make cash flow with gold, silver, and precious metals. You're buying them at a discount base, is what you're saying. That's right. Less than the melt value is what it comes down to. That's right. Yeah, and very interesting indeed. Yeah. Now, how many courses are there totally at WealthFit, and where do you see this going, like in the next year or so? Oh, Jordan, you're putting me on the spot. Right now, as of this recording, we, we have 107 uh, what we call life changing online courses. You know, for us, we just want people to subscribe to this site and, and at the end of every month saying, how can, why would I ever not subscribe to this, to this, to this amazing resource? And so every two weeks as of this recording, we release a brand new course. Earlier this year, it was every week because we felt it was critical to get to 100 courses across many categories and we achieved that milestone. Now we've decided we're going to go every two weeks, we're going to release a brand new course in this. And so we're going to continually add to the library of these uh, of the courses that we have based on the feedback we're getting. So if we find a, a gap in the library, like oil and gas is an example, not a lot of people want to do oil and gas. They think it's tricky, but it's starting to come up. And so we have to weigh that. And so that's an opportunity for us to uh, add that course to the library at some point in time. Second thing I'll say is we believe we can go deeper with folks. And so oftentimes our courses are about two hours, anywhere from, you know, really an hour to two hours. They fall, you know, generally in the 90 minutes range. We think there's an opportunity and a a level of accountability that people desire. And so we have these things called intensives where people can work with one of the trainers over a 10 class period, which typically happens in about 30, 35 days where they show up to something weekly and uh, have a, a level of accountability, but also have the opportunity to go deeper. So we are investigating and testing intensives where people can go further with certain trainers in the platform. In about a minute or so we have left, just kind of summarize what difference it would make in people's lives to subscribe to WealthFit, take one of the courses, and put something into action. I would say this. If you are truly committed to your success, and even if you're half interested, but you think there's an opportunity to get better in any of the areas that we talked about, money, investing, starting a business, or even in your own leadership, uh, time management, you know, that sort of thing we call lifestyle, take a course watch it and commit to taking one to two actions, the ones that you like most out of it. And what I would do is I would say, I would challenge anyone to do that. Take one to two actions, because when you do that, you now are on the playing field and you're that much closer. That doesn't mean you're going to get a check, you know, for one or two actions, but it's going to open up a whole new world of possibilities. And it's going to make you say, Hmm, I wonder what else there is. I wonder what else I can do to be even more successful. 
Terrific. It's a lot of great ideas. My guest this hour has been Dustin Matthews. He is the co-founder and chief education officer at WealthFit.com. Go to WealthFit.com and you can see all the different courses that they have. Uh, You've been a wonderful guest on The Money Answer Show. Thanks so much, Dustin. Thanks for having me. And we'll be back next week with another edition of The Money Answer Show. Goodbye for now. Thank you for joining Jordan Goodman and The Money Answer Show. If you have a question for Jordan, please visit his website at www.moneyanswers.com. And be sure to tune in every Monday at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time right here on Voice America Business. See you next week.